If it's New Zealand, if it's the Haka, it must be the House of Pain. But if you think this hurts, you've seen nothing yet. Worse than the dentist, this is the place where you really do suffer for your art. The moko shop, the home of traditional Maori tattooing. So which one will I go for? The discreet off-the-shoulder number? Or something a little more in your face? Hesitate no more. It's time to go under the needle. Maori culture insists you remove your shoes for the walk of death. How's it going? Good, mm. Any pain? Sleepy. <laughs> a bit. It's all worth it, though. Good luck. I can see another David's been here before. Hmm, that must have hurt. But to meet New Zealand's master of pain, you have to go, where else, into the dungeon. I always want to be an eel whisperer. Here is the Mukul man. Here is his life's work. And here is his canvas. Today, to Penny Makeri, or his forearm, anyway. This here coming from, from here with the, um, the fern, that's like new life and new growth, and that's growth within that wisdom. I mean, it's, it's all pretty straightforward without kind of like trying to do a six minute lecture on, 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 the, on, on the art of a culture, but each of these things are like little prayers. Same with the Samoan tattoo. Each of those are like little, little prayers. That's he mightn't wear his about. art on his and sleeve, like, like, but for Inya Taylor, this is a matter of the spirit. Cover all the bases. You never know, they might be right. Inya Taylor is a third generation Muku tattoo artist. The fearsome faces of once were warriors were his design. These days, the full face muku is a political statement, recalling the times pre-colonization when muku literally defined who you were. A storyline, if you like, of ancestry and tribal affiliation, with each design unique. Over the last decade, there's been a muku resurgence to match a new assertion of Maori culture. Worn mostly on the body, in New Zealand, the tattoo is no taboo. All the way through this, I'm kind of thinking like the kōrus of the land and the other, well, most of the other patterns, oh, and, and the harakeke is the land, yep. and then the feathers the sky, yep. and this is the sea. So there's nice three, you know, yeah. three little, three elements, three elements in the yeah. whole thing, and, you know, three is the lucky number. And, um, yeah, three the, being the number of the family, um, you know, like mother, father, child, the yeah. trinity, you know, it's always been the strong one, so. Um, in this case, it's the poor, the old, the marama, the past, the present, the future. Expect a day of reflections on matters of the spirit and the soul, stories of Maori legend and suppression. And here you go, bro. These lines stay with you for life. To take the pain of the muku is a defining moment. It's shedding the old skin, a metamorphosis, a change for the good. I mean, to me, I look at this stuff and it's the art of kings. You know? it's the, um, that's what it is, it's the art of, art of kings, because this is, this is, if we had a crown in the Pacific, this is it. You know, it's kind of gone from that to being the domain of, um, of, um, of you know, failed panel beaters working in red light districts. Mm. Mm. How, could it, how could it be more different? Mm. Upstairs, the endurance test isn't going so well. We're about a third of the way through the shading, bro. Two thirds to go. You make it. Cheers. <laughs> Downstairs, if not quite a bloodbath, we're seeing what Tippany McCary is really made of. If it doesn't look really painful, every moron's going to want one of these. They won't think it's Murray's attack anymore if it's all smiling all the way through. 
And when they find out it's all done with mirrors and makeup, oh my god, <laughs> never get a job again. <laughs> I'm not too bad. Get it to It's a marathon. It's a marathon. A marathon. Okay, bro. Get your scene, eh? Go ahead, Emil. Yeah, kill her. Go to the thing. I know. I know. What do they say about Australia? More culture than a punnet of yogurt. Now it's my turn with the smiling assassin. So what do those waves mean to you? Well, um... Could have something to do with a little boat out in the Indian Ocean, I don't know. Is that refugees, I see? Let's stick with the art. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, kids. Let's find something decent. Oh, yeah, no, that will do. I'll leave it and leave it and leave it. So what do hundreds of years of tradition produce? The ABC logo. Now, though, for the real test. So, you ready, bro? Oh, are you sure you know what you're doing? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, no, that would be... Well, I'll have an anaesthetic. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm not a Maori. Just lie back and think of the rugby, bro. Oh! No! 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 Concentrate on the NRL. Oh! What about the Rugby World Cup, bro? What about that? I don't care about the Rugby World Cup. You win! Uh, no, no, you win. It's yours. You uh, can have I'm it. I'm not even allowed to host it. It was about then it all went blank. Hours, maybe days, passed. But heck, Inya had assured me he'd only use the temporary stuff for the story. Now listen. Yeah. Inya. Yeah. You did use the temporary, didn't you? Like we agreed. Oh, you wanted the temporary one, bro. Okay. Inya seems to take particular pleasure needling uh, Australians. I don't know what you've done but say what you like. What the Moko master has left his mark. Why, though, did he have to leave it on me? Yeah.